What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we have another mail day. So unfortunately in this one I will say I don't really have a lot of um, cards to show you. It is mainly a lot of products that I did get in uh, from Target. So I mentioned in another uh, recent video that Target just had a big big restock and I have already started getting in some of that product. Uh, it's kind of weird how Every time you place an order on Target's website, they ship it individually. So I have three packages here, and then I do have like two or three more coming. So instead of just grouping them all together and shipping them in one box, they do like five or six individual shipments. You know, however many orders you make, that's how many shipments you're gonna get. So super, super weird. I feel like there's definitely a better way for them to do that. But anyway, we do have some of the products here and there's one in particular that I'm really, really looking forward to opening. So make sure to stay tuned. I'm gonna save that one uh, until the end. And then I do have some break results from Louisville Sports Cards that I can show you guys as well. So uh, before we get into this mail day, I wanna go ahead and pause and do the giveaway from our last video. And then I'll be right back and we'll get into this mail day. All right guys, so now that the giveaway is out of the way, we already go ahead and get into this mail day and get into some of these packages. So as you can see over here on the right, I do have a few cards that I just recently got from a break with Louisville Sports Cards. I'm actually gonna move these off to the side. I just wanna get these boxes open and out of the way real quick, and then we'll get into that. And then, you know, after that, we'll get into our uh, main event, I guess you can say, the package that I'm really, really looking forward to opening. So uh, I don't wanna give away any information. This was shipped to my uh, home address. So I'm gonna kinda try to do this without revealing that. I think shouldn't be an issue. Um, again, I did hit a big target restock. Now, this definitely wasn't the hardest restock to hit, but if you are interested in joining my Discord and being alerted to when products are restocked, you can definitely find that down below in the description. It's $15 a month, and I definitely think it's worth it with all of the retail products that will be coming out here soon. You know, we have Prism Football, Mosaic Football should be releasing soon. So there's a lot of stuff coming on the way if you guys do want to be alerted to those releases. Uh, again, links for the Discord are in the description below. So we are starting off with three Mosaic Blasters. Now, I won't be opening any sports cards in this video. All of the retail that I did hit on Target, I'm actually gonna be doing a break. So uh, it's been a while since I've done a break, but I wanna do a, uh, I guess a little bit of a cheaper retail break. So I'm gonna do um, three Mosaic Blasters. I have some cello packs, which are coming in this box. I have some Chronicles. I have a Flux Mega coming. Um, and then I have some optic blasters as well. So if you are, if you guys are interested in joining a um, inexpensive retail break, uh, definitely be on the lookout. I'm planning, you know, it kind of depends on when those other packages do come in from Target. I think they're expected maybe tomorrow or Sunday. So hopefully I can be, I can do a break this weekend. So if you guys are interested, just, uh, you know, watch on my Instagram, 502 Frank and my, I will sell them. I'll sell spots like I always do on my website, 502frank.com. So again, this one should contain these cellos and man, uh, yeah, they're just kind of floating around in there. So definitely not the uh, best shipping method. The blasters were a little bit safer, uh, but I guess, you know, hopefully they're okay. They look to be in decent shape, but yeah, Target definitely needs to fix that. They need to figure out their shipping, you know, they should be able to track if I make like five orders, they're all going to the same address. Hey, let's box those up together rather than shipping out five packages. I mean, who knows how much money they could save on shipping. But anyway, we got three blasters, three solo packs. And now before we do get into our final package, I wanna go ahead and show you guys the break results. So again, I was in a Mosaic football break with Louisville Sports Cards and I ended up buying the Jaguars, which are probably one of the more expensive teams other than maybe the Patriots, Buccaneers. Um, I'm not sure. They're, they're definitely up there at the top. I, you know, I had watched some Mosaic football breaks and I saw, um, I know one, I saw a Trevor Lawrence redemption auto come out. I saw a couple of Trevor Lawrence numbered cards. I think one was the base parallel and then one was an insert. And I was like, oh, Trevor Lawrence is just coming out like crazy. So, you know, I feel like they had them for a pretty good price. And I was like, oh, 
Seems like a pretty good idea. I'll go ahead and buy the Jags and see what happens. Just need to hit, you know, basically one numbered card or an auto and you made your money back plus some. Of course, that did not happen. We just got loaded up with base. So pretty unfortunate. But even, you know, right now, I think the base cards are doing 20 to $30. So honestly, even with the base, I feel like I'm still going to make a pretty decent chunk of that back. So I'll go ahead and get into what we did hit. So we got two NFL debut Trevor Lawrence's. We did hit a blue chips silver uh, ETN. And then we hit three of the base cards. Again, I think these are doing, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. So, I mean, that's like a hundred bucks right there. So that honestly makes pack a pretty decent chunk just in three base cards. And then we did hit a silver. This is the uh, Mosaic Rookie Introduction. So not sure the price on this one, but I would imagine that one being a silver, it's you know, should be pretty decent, maybe 50 bucks on that. So um, honestly, even major, you know, majority of the cards I hit were base cards. Still think I did okay. Um, of course, you know, all the other top uh, rookie quarterback teams all hit. There was a number of Justin Fields. There were two Trey Lance autos as well as a Trey Lance white parallel to 25. There were legit like 20 Mac Jones hit in that break. So. Uh, of course, the Jags definitely did the worst of the rookie quarterback teams, uh, but that's okay. I still think I did okay. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into our last box. This one is a big, big box. So again, I'm going to try to not reveal any address information. Let's go ahead and cut this open. And the, the tape on the top is kind of coming off pretty loose up here. So hopefully everything's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks to be okay. We knocked a card over back there. And we finally, finally hit. Let me pick up the John Morant back there. We finally hit the Pokemon UPC, AKA Ultra Premium Collection. I have been wanting one of these for a very long time. I have numerous times I thought about picking this up on the secondary market, but I was like, I really just want to wait and see if I can get my hands on this at retail. And finally on the last Target restock, I was able to get this. And honestly, I just got super, super lucky. I was hitting refresh, 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 and I refreshed it at the right time. It went in stock and I was so excited. I think you could grab like three of these. I was so excited I didn't even change the quantity, just grabbed one, checked out, and then I was like, why didn't I get more? So I tried to go back and get more, but they were gone. I uh, would have loved to have gotten one of these to sit on. And then there were some other people in my Discord who wanted this that were not able to get this. So I would have loved to have maybe hooked, hooked up a Discord member with one of these and uh, you know sat on one, because I do think uh, these definitely have some long-term potential, very, very high-end uh, Pokemon retail products at $120 retail. These were, you know, for a long time, these were up around like $300. So I am going to go ahead and open this. I do plan on grading the metal uh, Charizard and Pikachu. That's really the main reason why I wanted one of these. Um, so yeah, well, let's go ahead and get into it. We are going to, I kind of want to save this box. So... I'm gonna try not to damage anything. I'll see if, uh, you know, you never really know with Pokemon these days. I feel like they print stuff, you know, like kind of like crazy, honestly, like Panini does. Um, so might be able to get my hands on another one. Would love to, you know, again, have one of these to sit on for a while. So let's go ahead. I'm not actually sure how you, I guess you slide it. I'm not sure how you, oh no, wow, it's magnetic. There we go, and I think these are our metal guys. So I don't think I'm gonna open any packs. I know there are packs in here, but I think I'm just gonna save those for later. Probably open those off camera, or maybe I'll just give, maybe I'll actually put one up for the giveaway as well. So let me go ahead and grab one real quick. So I'll throw up uh, just a pack for the giveaway, um, but I do wanna check out the metal Charizard and Pikachu just kind of see how they're looking because I know these are very, very tough to grade. I, honestly, I don't actually think PSA even grades these. There was something, there was an issue with like how they sat in the case that I don't think they actually grade these anymore. So I might actually have to send these to SGC. 
Uh, but honestly, right off the bat, the Pikachu looks pretty good. Maybe, maybe a little something up there. Um, I'll have to check this out off camera, but the centering looks pretty good. I'm not really seeing any issues. This, these could actually be really good grading candidates. Hopefully, hopefully the Charizard looks the same. And the Charizard, I wouldn't say is centered as good as the Pikachu. Looks like the left border is a little bit thinner than the right border. Uh, but this, I mean, this is just so, so cool. Such a cool card. I will definitely be getting this. Ooh, there's def, well, maybe. I thought that was like peeling, but I, whatever that was, I think it came off. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely planning on grading these. Uh, the Pikachu and the Charizard, probably with SGC. I'll have to do a little research because again, I don't think PSA actually grades these any longer. So um, yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I didn't really have a, a lot of cards to show you guys, but I am gonna throw up this pack for the giveaway. So as always, just be a subscriber, like the video, leave a comment and you are in. And yeah, that is gonna do it. I will be back. There's a, uh, a show tomorrow in Louisville. So I'll be going to a card show again. Been a, been a few weeks since I've been to a card show. Have some uh, really awesome SGC um, reveal coming soon as well as a PSA reveal. So I do have some really, really cool videos I'm excited about on the way soon and be on the lookout for that break as well, hopefully this weekend. So some cool stuff on the way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon.